Okay, hi you guys. Today I want to show you guys what my Bit Emoji classroom looks like. I did this specifically for our kids' ministry at church. So I wanted to make something more fun for them. And I kind of divided it into like two different um, slides just because I have two different groups. But I will explain that and show you guys how that looks right now. So this is the first slide. Um, I just uh, gave them the option to choose what classroom they're supposed to be in. And I'm just gonna choose elementary for the sake of this video, but either way, it starts off the same with saying, I'm glad you're here, and then telling them it's about Brave. And then it moves on to um, the song that goes along with the lessons theme, which um, about God knowing who we are. And so they get to listen to that. And then I give a little more introduction and then they click next. Um, there's a fun little activity they get to choose. There's no right or wrong answer for this activity, cookies or cake, it's just their opinion. And um, it doesn't like mark them wrong or anything like that. It's just fun for them to like interact with the slide or like whatever this could be called. So then they get the story, the video story. Um, this is the video I, I liked and I you just click on it and you can listen to it. Then you click next, it moves on to the next um, slide and it keeps going like that for a while. Another fun little activity, which baby am I? These are actually not my idea. I got these from our lesson um, or actually our curriculum. So this is the lesson that involves, I try to involve as much things as I can from the lesson plan and then I include this little mini review questions and of course in this one I did um, let them know if they got it right or wrong and then just kind of provided the correct answer so I continued to add a bunch of little activities um, there were some activities obviously we can't do because we had to do them in person but I tried to make them like um, what's it called like virtual like this assignment I, I was just trying to make them feel like they didn't know where they were going <laughs> so that's what I did just keep on clicking next and um, it keeps and it eventually takes them to this home page which is where they get to explore and click on more activities I have my little office where they can visit me they can click on and leave notes that I will provide links for something else so they get to explore this whole um, area I provide little resources for them to do besides church stuff they can um, do some music videos they get to watch YouTube um, and then fun little activities this video is actually from our VBS and some of the kids like like watching it because they can find their friends on the video and they get really excited so I included that there um, if you click on my phone, it'll take it'll take them to our kids Instagram so they can go there as well um, So fun little things like that is what I included on my little office But then at their home late page they have resources to like other websites um, If they click on the animals, it'll give them some um, videos of cool animals like National Geographic um, for kids so I also included like um, their little attendance check-in. Um, that way that's just mostly for me. Um, I included uh, another video which relates to the same story just from a different YouTube account. Um, so there's a bunch of resources I included in here. They're, they can click on the laptop which will lead them to other sources, typing, um, PBS kits. Um, Duolingo which where they can learn another language so it's just stuff for them to do because I know a lot of them are at home so and these are all free for parents and for the children to use so I just wanted to make it all available to them now this one's actually for the preschool one so their little um, place looks different if you click on the coloring pencils it'll take them to this coloring um, website where they learn about colors so it'll it's a little bit more um, created towards them so I found this website where they can just click on it and it'll take them straight to it this is another activity I actually made on um, on a different like slides these this is not like a website or anything I created this and it took a long time because I had to like make each letter clickable so when they clicked on it it, it would either tell them it was right or wrong so it took a while but once um, my 
my slides were done, it's easier to switch them up every week um, to spell something different because it's already done. Um, but yeah, it took a while, but I just thought it was good for the little kids to practice their letters. So the words are actually relatable to the lesson as well. And yeah, that's basically all I did for that. Um, they have similar um, resources, the animals, the, the videos, the songs. I even included these um, like dance dance videos I guess but like the Christian version um, if you click on the little Amazon like speaker it'll take them to the songs um, and it's just one but I'm thinking I'm gonna change them every week so they have a different song to dance to but I thought those would be fun to get them moving especially the little ones they can sometimes really get into it so I've added that um, what else did I add I added some of the stuff are the same, but if you click on the books, it'll take them to um, YouTube videos where people are reading out loud um, those those stories. So I thought that would be good for the little kids as well. Um, in case parents can't really read them a book, they can just listen to it and, and they show the pictures as well. So that's always very helpful. So that's pretty much what I did for my kids ministry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in learning how I did this, um, check out my next video. I'll put the link down below. Bye.